Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we're going to talk about why you might not get your newspaper if you live in the UK tomorrow. The climate. And what this has to do with the U.S. And moving forward. Right now, as I'm filming this, there are a, a couple groups of people who are blocking off the entrances to a facility that prints newspapers in the UK. Most of the impacted outlets are from News Corp, but not all of them. Uh, looks like the impacted outlets are The Sun, Times, Sun on Sunday, Sunday Times, and then uh, Telegraph and Mail as well. The reason they're doing this is because they have identified this facility as pr printing a lot of outlets that kind of uh, plant the seeds of climate denial. Oh, it's not really a thing. We don't need to worry about it. Oh, it, it happens, but it's natural. It has nothing to do with humanity. We, we shouldn't make any changes. We just need to make that money. One of the spokespeople said, if we are to sort out this mess we're in, the mainstream media must stop profiting from clickbait culture that is swimming in misinformation that makes us hate our neighbors, suspect foreigners and vulnerable groups, and rally the nation into action. Nice. Nice. World. I would say world. Here in the U.S., there was recently a study of Generation Z. It found that 26% felt that climate change could not be stopped. 49% thought that it could be slowed, but not stopped. That's a pretty huge chunk. <laughs> That's a pretty big chunk of people right there. And the thing is, they're not wrong. We are going to fill it. We are past the tipping point on, on some pieces of it. We haven't crossed over the tipping point for it to turn into a full-blown disaster movie, but we're not that far off. So, because of that, you have people now willing to take pretty drastic action. Um, the reason I want to talk about this, because I don't often cover stuff that happens outside the U.S., but this relates to the U.S. in a really important way. Right now in the U.S., we have actions like this going on. We have stuff like this happening. But most of them are dealing with centuries-old issues. Stuff that should have been resolved in the 1860s or the 1960s at the very latest. But they're still going on because people in this country want to kick down. Want to kick down at their neighbors, at the vulnerable groups. We haven't moved past that yet. While we're still dealing with issues from the 1860s and 1960s, there are people in other countries that are looking to the 2060s. It would be just great if the people in the U.S., if we could rally this nation into action and get a little equity and equality going on quickly, resolve some of the issues that have been plaguing this country since it was founded, get to where we need to be so we can join this fight. We are way behind the times. And the United States and the attitude of the people in the United States and their willingness to make the changes necessary it's critical to winning. This is very similar to World War II in a way. Europe, they're already in the game. And they're waiting for us to catch up. It'd be great if, if we could oblige. So if you are somebody in the UK, that's why you may not get your paper today. People are trying to prove a point. Um, my understanding is that they're doing it in a completely nonviolent fashion, which is awesome. Uh, anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.